Acts chapter 6. The word of God prospered. During this time, as the disciples were increasing in numbers by leaps and bounds, hard feelings developed among the Greek-speaking believers, Hellenists toward the Hebrew-speaking believers because their widows were being discriminated against in the daily food line. So the 12 called the meeting of the disciples. They said it wouldn't be right for us to abandon our responsibilities of preaching and teaching the word of God to help with the care of the poor. So friends, choose seven men from among you whom everyone trusts, men full of the Holy Spirit and good sense, and we'll assign them this task. Meanwhile, we'll stick to our assignment tasks of prayer and speaking God's will. The congregation thought this was a great idea. They went ahead and chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas, a convert from Antioch. Then they presented them to the disciples, praying the apostles laid on hands and commissioned them for their task. The word of God prospered. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased dramatically. Not least, a great many priests submitted themselves to the faith. Stephen, brimming with God's grace and energy, was doing wonderful things among the people unmistakable signs that God was among them. But then some of the men from the meeting place whose membership was made up of freed slaves, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and some others from Sicilia and Asia went up against him, trying to argue him down, but <laughs> they were no match for his wisdom and spirit when he spoke. So, in secret, they bribed men to lie. We heard him cursing Moses and God. That stirred up the people, the religious leaders, and religion scholars. They grabbed Stephen and took him before the high council. They put forward their bribed witnesses to testify. This man talks nonstop against the Holy Spirit and God's law. We even heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth would tear this place down and throw out all the customs that Moses gave us. As all those who sat in the high council looked at Stephen, they found they couldn't take their eyes off of him. His face was like the face of an angel.